Hi everyone, I hope you're really well. Today I thought I would do something a bit different. I hope you are sitting or standing or whatever it is you're doing comfortably because you're sat on a new tripod. Yay! I don't know if you saw the video in which I had just literally cut my thumb on my old tripod. I've got a brand spanking new tripod. It's amazing and I'm actually stood up right now. This has enabled me to be able to do clothing videos. I don't know if this is gonna be something of interest to you, but I thought I would give it a go. One of my absolute favorite retailers recently had a sale, and whenever they have a sale, I'm just like, sucked right in. I just can't help myself. And I was actually fairly restrained. I did get some stuff for my husband, so yay me. And I just got a few bits for myself. I got it all delivered and I thought I would do like a little try on haul thing. So if that sounds interesting, keep watching. Fat Face is a brand that I didn't really know all that well and it was kind of one of those brands where I was aware of it but I would just walk past thinking that's too trendy for me. I don't know much about the brand, don't particularly like the name, don't really know much about it. I know it's been around for a long time. And then for ages of having that kind of mentality, I just went in one day and I thought, oh my God, someone has made a clothing store for me. How nice. Because literally I could close my eyes and as long as I suppose I stayed within the women's wear section, I could literally pick up anything and I would be happy. And for someone who is plus size, who hates shopping because whatever I put on just looks horrendous, it was just such a big, big deal. And I have spent a huge amount of money with fat face. I do try and go when it's sales so I can get bargains and stuff. Just absolutely delighted to have found a shop that I just really like and actually it's not too trendy where you look like you're trying too hard. Particularly when you get to my kind of age you just want to look a bit kind of effortless really. You just want to be able to throw something on and think yeah I look okay. I'm happy with that. I'm not a massive follower of fashion, but I do like to look, you know, fairly nice like most people do. This is the first time I've ever done a video like this, so it is a bit of an experiment, both in terms of whether people are interested in it, but also in terms of whether I can actually pull it off because props to the people who do this, it's actually quite hard. It's helped by the fact that I've got this new amazing tripod, but it's logistically complicated. I've already filmed the stuff that I've tried on and I'm just gonna talk you through each piece that I've got to show you. It's just four things, so it's not many. So I'm gonna need your help because with three out of the four things, I can't quite decide if I want to keep them or not. So. I'd really appreciate some honest feedback, just pop it in the comments and help me decide whether to keep all of this stuff or not. The first thing I've got I am definitely keeping because I am in love with this so much and it is this kind of tunic, short dress type thing. All of these clothes are in a size 16 by the way just in case you're curious but it's their wheat sheath. I think the name is, style dress, and I love it. It's got some really pretty detail on it. Let's just talk about the fabric first. It's a really, really lightweight, comfortable, good for layering for this time of year fabric. And I think this will work really nice in the spring, summer as well, because again, it's got that nice lightweight and cool property to it, but you can also layer it up with maybe like a cardigan or whatever. I just think it's gorgeous. And I think for autumn, winter, it's just perfect really. In terms of the detail, detailing the fabric itself is a really dark navy really dark navy and then it's got this lovely little flower detail with these little like red flowers and kind of brown coloured stems I suppose. What I also like about this is it's got this <laughs> my little boy referred to this as a train track he is train obsessed but it's got this like little cutout section and that sort of runs all the way down the front and around the back as well, around the back of the neck and the sort of shoulder blade height. And then you've got this V-neck, which you can either leave open or tie up. And it's got this cute little detailing on the bottom, like silver-esque, almost ethnic-y looking beads, which is a really nice touch as well. They're not too heavy. And it's also got some button detailing on the cuffs. And it's ever so slightly gathered in at the waist. And I just think it's really flattering. I really like this. It's one of those things that as soon as you put it on, I just looked in the mirror and I thought, yes, I'm having this. 
it's something that you can dress up or dress down. I think you could go to work, maybe put some thick tights on underneath and that would look really nice with maybe some nice Mary Jane shoes. Or the way that I've been wearing it most of the time is I've got some really nice sort of black denim looking leggings and just a really big pair of wintry boots. And I just think it's really gorgeous. So they haven't got any other patterns in this style dress at the moment, but I'm gonna be keeping my eye out because I know it's like one of those things where you find it and you find that it suits you. You just want more, or at least that's just me. I'd quite happily have quite similar things but just different variations of colours. I don't know if anyone else is like that. So the next thing I've got to show you, and this is obviously one of the three that I'm not sure about whether I want to keep or not, is this uh, tunicky t-shirt thing. It's got really nice blanket stitching detail around the neckline and around the cuffs as well, although it doesn't actually have it on the bottom. And it's almost like a, I don't know, Nordic, Gypsy-esque, I'm not sure really. I just was quite attracted to it. I really like the length of it. I think it's a nice length, but because I do have quite a lot of boobage, I don't know whether I like all of the detail around the boob area. I'm not sure if it's all that flattering. Um, it's really comfortable, really nice fabric. It's perfectly wearable. I'm just not sure if I would wear it because I think I'd be a bit paranoid about the booby area. I do really like the detail. I think it looks really nice. Whether it looks nice or not on me, I'm not sure. But I do really like the length of it as well. And it's not often that you find a t-shirt like this where you think, oh yeah, that, the length of that's quite nice. Particularly when you have quite a lot of boobage because it just kind of like pulls hemlines up on your t-shirts, if you get what I mean. If you've got big boobs, You'll, you'll know where I'm coming from on all of these issues. So, not sure about whether I want to keep this. I think I might look back at the footage that I've taken and try and decide, but if you can help me decide and let me know what you think, just pop something in the comments. Okay, the last two items I've got are both within the dungaree family, and I have been wanting a pair of dungarees for as long as I can remember. I lived in dungarees when I was sort of I don't know, maybe up to 14 years old? I'm not sure, I just literally lived in them. I loved them, they were so comfortable, I just absolutely adored my dungarees. And they're having a little bit of a comeback, but I have been on the dungaree train now for quite some time, and I've been looking and looking for the perfect dungarees, and they just don't seem to exist. Not for me, anyway. I'm fairly certain I've made up my mind about the first pair that I'm gonna show you, and that is this kind of, I don't know what you'd call this, just heavyweight cotton blue fabric. And I'm just not sure how dungarees look on me. At first I was just like, no, 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 no. And then I'm like, oh, I don't know actually, when I've looked in the mirror, and my husband, who's usually really decisive and helpful, and he is my, my go-to person for honesty, was like, I don't know. I was like, oh my God, that's just, that's not helpful. So I need you guys to help me with this, okay? This first pair was actually in the sale, so I think they were only 30 pounds. So I was quite pleased about that. I like the fabric, really comfortable. They already are starting to show signs of quite serious creasage around the crutch area, which is never a good thing. So I think even if these did look good, I probably wouldn't keep them just purely because I don't really like that look. I don't think it looks very tidy. But they are super soft, really comfortable. It's gorgeous fabric. I'm just not sure about this panel piece because they just don't seem big enough. When I first got them, I tried to get it kind of up here somewhere and my husband lovingly told me I had serious camel toe situation going on. So I was like, oh, I couldn't see it because I'm stood up straight now. So I thought, okay, let's just look at the pictures on the Fat Face website and see how the models are wearing them just to make sure I'm wearing them right. Have I just got a really long torso or something? And of course I had them way too high because that's how I used to wear dungarees and they needed to be more like, <laughs> I can't even get it on camera now, much, much lower down. And I just thought, there's gonna be a situation where a boob is just gonna fly out the side, isn't there? And it's just gonna look silly. So I'm really not sure about either of these dungarees, really. But certainly from a kind of creasing point of view, 
I think I've probably made up my mind on these ones and I think I probably will actually return them. The second pair of dungarees I've got, and this is the last item of clothing I wanted to talk about, these weren't in the sale, so these were I think £52. So it's a fairly big investment I think really, because I'm a bargain hunter when it comes to clothes and I really don't like paying full price for things, but these dungarees just kept going out of stock in the bigger sizes so I just felt like I needed to jump in and grab them. I did go for a 16, I probably could get away with an 18, I don't know whether they would look maybe a little bit too baggy but I really love fat face denim, most of the jeans that I wear are from fat face, I've just found it's really comfortable, they just make really nice jeans I find and I just really like the kind of faded out vintage look of the denim and again, super soft, got a bit of stretch to them, really, really comfortable, but I just, I'm not sure. I change my mind on a daily basis and I really need to take this stuff back soon if I'm gonna take it back. I literally am changing my mind every single day. What do you guys think? Do you think I should keep these or not? Because I'm seriously not sure at the moment. I really like the fact that the pockets come down and they're shaped the, the way they are as well. I think these are their worker denim dungarees. So let me know in the comments what you think and if you're a fan of Fat Face and what kind of clothes in there that you like as well because as a brand, I just love it. Oh, and I'll quickly mention this t-shirt I'm wearing that you've probably seen in other videos. This is also a Fat Face t-shirt and it was the same one that I'm wearing um, when I try on both pairs of dungarees. So anyway, that's my little fat face sale haul slash some stuff not in the sale. I hope you found it enjoyable. If you did, just give me a thumbs up down below. I would super appreciate it. Hopefully I can get some returns back in time. I think they give you like a month or something, don't they? I really should probably check that because it's getting close now. Let me know if you got any sale bargains from Fat Face. It's always really exciting when they have the sales because all of the stuff goes really quick and it's a bit of a competition. Anyway, I hope you're all really well and I will see you again soon. Bye. What I thought I would do is just go through each brush and talk a little bit about how Zoeva describe what the use is of the brush and then how I personally use it.